Hi, hello, it's sketchbook toy time. So, um, it's been a bit. I wanted to like be consistent with my upload schedule. I got super overwhelmed with school. It's kind of the same story every time actually. So like, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my, shit, I actually don't know what number this is. Probably seven or eight sketchbook. Um, and so I just like, usually I color the cover of it or like I paint it or use pastas and then I like, or I put stickers on it, but to this time I was like, what if I used my Ohuhus? Because I've been getting back into using Ohuhus, and I like, um, cut out like different like characters and stuff. So like I finished, I actually read Homestuck for the first time, and I finished it. So I just did a Roxy drawing that I cut out. This is an OC, my OC Gabriel. I love him so much. I think he was the OC I drew the second most. So it's like okay. And then, um, Jolene, just because Stone Ocean just ended, and it, oh my god, emotionally devastated me. Masterpiece, 10 out of 10. Please watch JoJo's or read it. I'm reading, um, Seal Ball Run right now, and it's insane. But yeah, okay, first page time. So, I started this October 1st, and I finished it December 9th. So, this is just, like, I wanted to finish this by Halloween, so I wanted to do it in a month, and I was, but it's, um... 60 pages so that's like kind of insane i don't you know kind of impossible um yeah so just miles and phoenix and like little costumes i i drew phoenix as a vampire and miles as a witch earlier in before i drew this and i was like okay i'll just keep that consistently here and she's like holding an umbrella Happy Halloween. um and then this is a little doodle of my sona i didn't draw anything on this page just a little doodle of my sona um yeah it doesn't really look like that anymore. First page. Okay. Um, Jotaro. This is- I was watching part four, um, when I first started this, but now I'm, like, done with all the anime stuff, so I'm doing manga only. Um, Josuke Okuyasu, a little Josuke. He looks so ugly here. This- Jotaro looks really good, though. And then also, this is when, like, Green was doing, like, his, um, no re rebellion thing, so, um, he just like a normal green doodle and then him like with the skull because he was getting like possessed by the skull for a bit and that like the fandom was like guys green with skull blah, blah, blah. um my brother because it was thanksgiving not even thanksgiving was it october i think it was still october but he just made a turkey hand or something um yeah and then my splatoon sona i think i think it's my Splatoon. i honestly yeah it's my splatoon sona because sometimes they go back and forth i'm just thinking should i make this an entire oc but then it's like no i'm allowed to have like an extravagant splatoon sona so like yeah um i've drawn it before but this is just me like fine-tuning it because i originally i had like a bunch of tentacles but octolins can only have like um six and then they have like two tiny ones in the back so like it's four and then two tiny ones um, I'm, like, really still happy with how many spread books, this specifically this part right here, I'm, like, I don't know what happened to Rose, but she looks so good here, um, Anya, and she's, like, smoking, um, and then just, like, I had a toffee or something, and I glued it in here, like, the back because it was cute, oh, this page is terrible, um, we had to draw, we were reading Animal Farm in class, I've read it before, but I, I was, we had to draw, like, a little poster for, like, um, Napoleon, and he was, like, all animals are equal or whatever, and then there's, like, animals watching him. This is terrible. This is when that, like, Among Us anime, I think, was fun popular. So I, like, drew one of my OCs with an Among Us anime eye, and then I drew another one. And then I was- I finally figured out what Gabriel's design looks like, and what, um, Ash's design looks like, and it took me so long, but I finally have, like, a solid design for both of them. And it took- only took me, like, four years, but, um, little doodles of my OC, um, Ani. And then, yeah, they're, they're just, like, from, like, a different story than the other ones. Doodle of my Sona, Doodle of my Sona. They don't, it just don't look like this anymore. I just, I was also trying to figure out my Sona, this sketchbook. Um, this is, like, an OC I've had for, like, a, two years now, I think. And then I finally drew, like, figured out her design. So her name is, um, Marisol. I love her so much. Um, like, I figured out her design. She has, like, wrote, um, like, um, god, I can't remember the name of the flower, but, and then, like, candles and stuff. And then she has, like, little, like, dangly beads coming off of her hat too i think she's really pretty and then also like a persona 3 sticker that came with a standee and a keychain i bought um dio fucking ugliest thing i've ever drawn in my life and then this is like reagan and sarazawa because i was getting super into mob psycho again because the new season was gonna come out like any day it was literally like this was right before the new season was coming out so i just had mob psycho brain rot and i still do um reagan in that like halloween outfit they gave him you know where it you know 
um, Sarah Zawa and Reagan. Reagan, but he looks really bad here. Gabrielle, me still trying to figure out what he looks like. And then Malcolm. Just the Malcolm's design is perfect. I, I literally cannot think of anything else for him. Um, a lot of Rose this sketchbook. I did a lot of Rose, but like without her like actual full design. It was mostly just like her jacket. Like I think I drew her in her jacket twice this entire sketchbook, which is very interesting to me. Um just a study of her face is for Pinterest. <laughs> um I was talking to some friends and this is um God, what's his name? Gregory Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth was dad, and they were like, What if he was a cat boy? And I was like, Okay. And then um still trying to figure out Gabrielle's face. A little like unfinished rose drawing. Okay, okay. This is when Hawkeye was a thing. So this is like my Hawkeye design. I gave him shorts. I don't know why I did that. Um him as an elf. He's not a, he is an elf again now because it's like I don't know, Christmas or something. Mumbo Mumbo, I miss him. I miss you. I miss you. Um another I hate this drawing. Cute guy. He looks good here. Um them just like back to back. He, they were also had like a cat mod thing and I was like, what if I make cute guy a cat? So you know, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love this spread so much. I'm actually I think I should make a TikTok of it too, just because um people love like people love humanized teenage mutant ninja turtles on TikTok, I've noticed. But Donatello, it's Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it's like if you can't tell it's humanized Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Donatello, this is like his full outfit. He only he's the only one who got a full body and it didn't even finish his feet. Um Leonardo, Mikey. Um, I gave him stickers on his face too, and like band-aids. I think that's just cute and fits him. Um, Raph, yeah. And then Raph has pins on his jacket, but I don't actually know what I want the pins to be, so I just kind of put them there for like vague. If I remember and I think of something, I'll do it. But um, math work because he didn't have my notebook on me, and then they like did ugly ass like highlighter stuff over it. But yeah, synthetic division guys. <laughs> um. Sorry. I'm I'm also a sophomore, so you know I'm in I don't know why I'm flexing so hard right now. Sorry, never mind, never mind. Um Apollo, um Rose. I drew so much Rose. I also decided that Rose knows how to play the guy bass bass bass. Like what's going on? Rose in her jacket though. I didn't draw her in her jacket after this. I think I kinda just stopped. Weird, ugly ass clavier, because I had been drawing clavier online too. Um, digitally and then yeah, I just drew him again because it's got brain rot. Um, but it's ugly. Um I can't remember your name. <gasps> Why can't I remember your name? Raihan. Ash. I didn't remember what his outfit looked like, so I kind of guesstimated it. Um, Leon spread. So Leon. I've used my highlighters to color these, which is why it looks so bad. But yeah, Leon. Yeah, Raihan and Leon. I didn't actually draw them together, though. We had to do a... In my digital arts class, we're making, like, a fantasy creature. And then we're going to 3D print it. So this is just, like, the design. And this is, like, the finished one I wanted. It doesn't look like this just because it's 3D and it doesn't look as cute and stuff. Oh, a little Etho. Um, Cleo. And then B-dubs and, like, um, King Ren when that arc was a thing. Because I just thought B-dubs being, like, a... I want to draw him as, like, a jester or something at some point. Being, like, the court jester. I think that would be really fun. Um hand reference i got the like i did the hands from a reference and then i added the glowy stuff on my own obviously fucking glowy shit doesn't happen in real life jotaro in i think this is his part um four outfit but he also wears something really similar to it in part five for like the one scene he's in um this is i drew this digitally like i sketched it and then inked it like colored it in digitally because i was trying that out but i did it on ibs is paint so it doesn't even look that good and then after i was like i just i'll just like use a pen and like draw over it this is okay um this is uh, this is like my champion sona but i don't think i like this anymore for my pokemon champion sona not my gym leader sona i have like five different fucking pokemon designs because it's just ah oh, it's for, it's my special interest you know ah oh. <laughs> Giorno, Giorno. This is like in the middle of me watching part five. I forgot to add his little, like he has like one more little thing here, but I forgot to do that. It's in the middle of me watching part five and I was like, I'm gonna draw Giorno. I love how this turned out. Oh, okay. Ugly ass drawing of an OC that I've had for a couple of years, who is a part of like Rose and Gabrielle's and Nash's and their story. But I haven't like, she would be like, a, she's a mentor character. I haven't given her a name and I haven't like actually fully figured out her design yet. Malcolm, this is a reference from Pinterest, but I ended up making him look like Saul Goodman, so, like, sorry, Malcolm again, Malcolm, but, like, in that one little creature, in that one creature, yeah, um, oh, this fell off, it should be, like, here, because, 
like glued in there um this is like my design for my character um like my my jojo's insert but it doesn't look like this right now this is just like rough drop i finally like i fine tune it later um i haven't seen stone ocean so i actually i knew nothing about it and this is the ugliest jolene i've drawn in my life this is the ugliest sweater i've drawn in my life but i i was like guys what if after stone ocean because i didn't know how stone ocean ended i did i didn't know i was like what if i met them in like the 2020s or something and then um this is my ace attorney oc that i'm working on and i'm like still working on i don't know anything about her i just know that she used to be a detective but then she became a uh, um like a defendant or whatever it's called instead whatever phoenix and apollo and athena are um i like her without the jacket more so sorry to draw her without the jacket clavier that i actually didn't finish coloring because i i was using my highlighters to color it and i'm like i don't like using highlighters to color it's fucking annoying um this is the ugliest jonathan i've seen in my life i actually don't like jonathan though so it's okay um ugly ugly anya i've been struggling so much with her outfit for a while like for about two years at this point right and so i've just been like doing so many different outfits for her trying to figure it out but i figured it out in this sketchbook a lot of me figuring things out um ugly miska Nurancha, ugly china looks cute here and rose looks okay here um oh this is when the empire's hammercraft crossover thing happened so this is um the rancher reunion where they were like oh my rancher and i was like ah. um live Jevin reaction when sausage and Corrales met and Jevin was just standing there looking at them flirting that was so funny um pearl and um god he she interacted with scott a lot in the beginning and she still did so and then it's like sausage being like, Santa Paula, blah, blah, blah. and then green like standing over jimmy and being because he was like in that one scene where he's like you can't never escape me and then i just drew joel hill as an ollie meeting because i was like oh that's a cute interaction i'm gonna draw that some hands um thumbnails for a drawing i never actually made of like because they all did like like magical transformation it was like um cub catherine pearl and impulse i think and they did like a magical girl transformation thing and i was like i'll draw that and i didn't <laughs> um mista spread of just i didn't know sooner answer but just only mista because i love him and then like another little doodle page that i did during school of malcolm apollo and that one outfit he has and dada dada I love guy. I love him. He's my favorite Ace Attorney character right now. He's just such an interesting character. Um, this is my Fluttershy design. Yeah, my Fluttershy Gajunga. Um, me still figuring out Gabrielle's design. Rambo's birthday, so I did a little doodle. Ages from Persona. I've only played Persona 3, but I'm gonna start Persona 5 really soon. Um, random doodle of some, I don't know. And then a Pinterest drawing. Like a drawing from like little Pinterest um Ladna from Critical Role because I do actually like Critical Role a lot I don't draw fan art for it though I think I should start drawing fan art because this is the only one I've actually done um Jolene I actually started Park Sips at this point so I actually like had an idea of what Jolene was like so I drew her um my Sona doesn't look like that anymore finally figuring out my Jojo's Bizarre Adventure um Sona like this is the actual complete design I've done a digital version of it too but I still like how it looks traditional more uh Girano um more of my sona just like the like kind of what the stand would be um i have a lot of ideas for it i hate how i do the stand digitally i'm gonna redraw it at some point i don't know i didn't know anything about steel ball run at this point but um i loved jira's design so i was like i'm gonna draw it i'm gonna draw him and you know now i actually do love jiro um we were thumb i was thumbnailing for like this one english project that me and my friend did and then he drew like all the like a bunch of stuff around it too um shitty doodle page <laughs> i was thinking so much about fire emblem three houses and like uh, edelgard specifically is my favorite character in fire emblem i i i, th I think i've fully decided that she's my favorite she's just so interesting and i think i i think i did her justice in this round i'm really happy with that turned out. um mm, trish this is um just trish doodles because i missed her fugo but you can't really tell it's him um again my sona i think it looks so good i'm finally like i'm super happy with how it looks i don't i think that's supposed to be like in green green little sticker i bought um i got prints for my birthday and i can't remember the name of the artist but they had like a cute sticker of their sona on the envelope that the print came with and um sorry i just stuck it in here 
um this is in the mirror scar it got leaked and so i just drew it because i have to be really really like mirror scar i think it's my favorite starter out of the three of them it is my favorite starter because i picked it <laughs> reagan a little thing like a thank you thingy but i'm not gonna open it because it has my name in it um clavier so like just like a bunch of doodles of clavier and stuff because again i have such major clavier brain rot and i've been starting like writing something about him like an analysis and then i just stopped because i was like ah i can't write right now um iris doodles i hate this i hate this page um i hate this this is art block this is like a bit of art blocks so ugly i went to a store with my friend and then i bought socks um ugly 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 this is when they did the started to create mods with scar and beat up this thing ugly terrible looking gesture drawings i usually do gesture drawings to get out of my art block because when i start feeling it i'm like okay my art is probably like just i'm not getting many ideas so yeah I, I recommend it for anyone who's an art block it's really good you know i just like dedicate an hour to doing it doesn't need to look good like i fully like i drew over like like you can see me drawing people over each other and stuff it's just like to help you know um and then i think i got out of my art block again because this is the next spread and it looks all right this is me finally finally figuring out what i want um think what i want ashes designed to be so like skirt still but instead of like a collared shirt it's a normal shirt and then they have like those really cute gloves and those socks you know like the really long thing goes striped gloves that was really popular for seeing kids like that kind of stuff and then just another pinterest girl i saw um me figuring out i don't know why i'm like redoing her design because i don't want any red in her design because it's just too much fluttershy so this is not the fluttershy kajinga this is an oc i've had for three years that i have not thought up a name of because i'm really bad at naming my characters and i only have like five characters out of all my characters named <laughs> um and i still change those names all the time just some doodles jolene um you can't tell it but it's gem from vampires polnareff um gabrielle um a tea bag that i glued in gabrielle he looks so good here he actually looks awesome um this is from Oh, this one artist they have like a lawyer au where fugo and kieran are lawyers and i drew the design for them and fugo's bending down but it doesn't look like he's bending down and i'm really sad about that because I, I think it's i'll take a drawing or something like drawing i think I, it's from like a fashion magazine but i don't know i just saw it on pinterest um someone was like what if they were what if the like hermits were bugs because they're like infesting empires and then i was like i'm gonna draw them as bugs <laughs> um this is um okay yeah so i've also i've been reading homestuck and so this is just some homestuck drawings so rose um jade dark 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 and then this is ryuki i believe i can't remember his name because it's been so long since i've not since i've like done anything persona 3 related like watched it or played it or anything so i don't actually remember any of their names because i've been doing it <laughs> um my oc that i haven't named but she's in the same universe as um Ani and um Marisol, so you know um <laughs> thing um what was his name cod daddy was trending from emperor season one like jimmy's character and i just drew him because i was like okay i miss him um hanzo i read this one okay so first i had a reference photo and then i read this one thing where it's like what if hanzo was had like um like had to use crutches and whatever and i was like that's so interesting and I don't know what it was based off, like, it was just, like, a complete AU, and I just, like, um, I read it so late at night, too, so it just, like, changed my brain chemistry, and so then I had the reference drawing, and I had the AU just mingling in my head, so I was like, what if I drew some art for it? I don't even remember what it was named, um, if I remember, I'll, I'll like, I won't talk about it again, <laughs> um, ugly-ass cockyrain drawings I drew without a reference, mm, more modern soul, I think this was mod um Kakuin in like Marisol's outfit, but I did finish it because I didn't like this page. Dirk, baby girl. He is so baby girl. Um doodles of what I wanted my son to look like. And me I turned 16 while I was making this sketchbook, so I drew myself, I drew my sona being like 16, and I changed up the colors by crazy because it used to be super dark. But I've been in, like so into pastels and stuff lately that I was like, I'll make that reflect in my sona. So it's like I really like it. Um, just some doodles. Um reference from Pinterest. Anya, I love her, but she looks really nice. Um, this is my Rainbow Dash Kajinga. So I, like I wanted her hair to like um because I want all their hairs to kind of resemble like a mane somehow. Like I'm trying to figure out how to do that. And I think that this one looked pretty good. 
um, like, kind of just, like, the curve, you know, like, how, like, her hair kind of, like, curves more than everyone else's, so I kind of wanted, like, <laughs> eh, bear with me, I don't know why I drew, um, thing, I don't know why I drew them in this outfit, because that's not even their outfit anymore, but, yeah, Ash's outfit does not look like this, I really love how she looks here, I think this is, just like, her final form, you know, I don't really want to add anything else, I work on Anya's outfit, and I figure it out, but I still, fuck, why was I drawing her in this ugly-ass dress for so long? Um, what's her name? It starts with a T. But that one girl from, um, part four that was dating, um, what's his name? The, the, like, OG Sundre or whatever the fuck. I love her a lot, but she's cool. Um, Malcolm, Moral Oral. I had finished Moral Oral, and I kind of been, like, I wanted to draw him Oral, and he's just a guy. He's so, like, ugh. Gabrielle. Um, I think another oral rose, me figuring out Rose's outfit a tiny bit, just changing the color of her pants, because I was like, I don't want her pants to be black, I need more red in her outfit, because they're all, like, color-coded, because I love color-coding characters. <laughs> Cassidy. So, my brother means Cassidy, and, like, he's in love with Cassidy, and, like, I have some friends who, are, who really love Cassidy, and it's like, I play Kiriko, but I tried to play Cassidy, and I got fucking bullied, like, horrendously, like, horrendously, so I'm never gonna touch him again, but he's so baby girl, you know, you know, like, you know how it is, like, not in, like, a, I'm attracted to him way, and just, like, a, he's baby girl way, um, shitty doodle page of Malcolm and Gabrielle, the character I have that I don't know what name for, and I need to name her, but it's really bad, and I haven't, but I think I shaded her face really well here, um, Oh, okay, this is my Overwatch OC. I mean, so in an OC. Um, so, like, I based that off of traditional or meaning clothing, because what the fuck else am I gonna do? You know, like, that's, like, my go-to when I'm, like, I want to do something different and interesting. I, like, I'm, like, I'll base it off traditional Armenian clothing. And then it's kind of based off of, like, Armenian freedom writers called Fedais had, like, um, like, their, like, the women Fedai outfits. So I'm not and I'm also dating Kiriko because she's my favorite. Hermes and Hermes, Hermes, fuck. Um, and Jolene, part six, Stone Ocean had ended for like a day, I believe. And so I was like, what if, what, I miss him and I don't like Amasui at all. I mean, I think he's a really interesting, morally great character, but I don't like him with Jolene. I like Hermes with Jolene. I'm a Hermes, Jolene's shaper? whatever and then also gabrielle a bit more of my overwatch sona um emporio and like what i think he would look like older um jolene jolene is an inkling my ace attorney this is what i want her to look like like this is like a good outfit for her like with the fucking the um like overall whatever whatever what are these called suspenders too i think it looks really good um and then like her the way her hair looks too i like it a lot i like it um Arvin from Pokemon. I didn't do any Pokemon to most of the sketchbook. And I did so many in, like, my notebook and stuff, but I actually didn't do any in the sketchbook, and it's so weird. Um, Jotaro and Kakyoin. I think they look good here. I like it. I like the, especially Jotaro. I think you like his hair, like his face. It's so cute. Kakyoin is also, like, dead, but the thing is, I didn't feel like drawing an actual, like, hole in his chest. So, you know, this is, like, just a ten minutes there. Um, Ani. I love them. They're such a such a goober. Um, this is me finally figuring out Anya's outfit, and I've been looking at like cottage core references on Pinterest, and it was like, yeah, you know. So I'm gonna do like a dress, and then like a long sleeve under the dress, but then like nothing on the legs, and then a um bukiardi, bukiardi, bukarati, and then Anya, and then Tyler the Creator lyrics. There's that one song. I don't know names of songs, but I you know the one. You know. Um, Bukiardi, him in a skirt. <sighs> Terrible. 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 Not bad. Oh, not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all. Um, Chris, but like my design of Chris, I kind of give, I kind of give them like frizzy curly kind of hair. Like, it's kind of like, yeah, my texture, but like my hair, what is it called? Texture, I think, but like shorter. Um, and this is a picture screen. Um, <laughs> I went to, I went to this one art college, um, 
in LA for a field trip and it took us like an hour to drive there and we, I didn't enjoy it that much and there's like me and all my friends were there and so we were gonna doodle but we didn't actually doodle anything because this is like my friend's page like and they didn't actually draw anything <laughs> one of them drew this head and one of them drew like a chest and this is like a bookmark I got so I was like I'm gonna do it in here and I do sounds so pregnant um, Noel, I was in a bit of a, like, Deltarune vibe for a bit, um, Noel, Noel, because I've been watching a lot of, like, like, a lot of Deltarune theory videos for, for, like, a while now, and I was just like, I need to draw Noel, because she's just so interesting, ah, I should draw, like, my desk design, too, like, because I want to draw desk holiday, um, character, unnamed character, kind of refining the design again, I wanted her to have more of, like, a, it's, like, pants, but also, like, skirt, not a skirt, but, yeah, um, Rossi with the hat, I still draw him with the hat, my Pokemon, um, gym leader Sona, not champion Sona, gym leader, so I would be a poison type gym leader, I would live in a cave, and my challenge would be that they have to use, like, the, because it's like a glowy in the dark cave, you know, and there's, like, poison paint, not poison, but there's, like, paint dripping from the stalactites, and they have to collect the paint, and I use that to, like, make my chemicals and paint stuff. Kara. Uh, hot chocolate from Trader Joe's that does not taste very good, but I drink all of it. Um, Apollo and Trucy's outfit, Trucy and Apollo together. Um, another rose. Kiriko finally took me so long to draw her. Character that I don't know who it was and I don't care anymore. Undrawn. Thumbnailing. Final page. Final page. Um, the sketchbook, man. God. Sorry, I'm just thinking about it. Like, this was a weird time in my life. JoJo's, um, JoJo's school was terrible, and I think that reflects, which is my, like, the way I was drawing everything. It was just so overwhelming. I was so overwhelmed, but, you know, it's fine. Um, okay. Rose, Giorno, um, Kanaya, 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 Homestuck, <laughs> Homestuck in 2022, guys. Again, cover of the sketchbook. I think I might do this kind of thing again where I cut up stuff out or like put like paint it again or something. I don't want to do stickers anymore. Just so it's like a bit more personal to me, but I think I'm going to do it first because I did this last. So like I was walking around with like a bare bones sketchbook and I could have had like cute little drawings on it first. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking till the end. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I don't know. You know, ring that bell. Don't ring the bell don't <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much for watching see you next time